and welcome to all of you. It's great to have such a nice crowd here tonight and uh, a very special evening for us. Back in uh, September 2006, we previously welcomed Jeff Danziger here to the uh, Labor Hall. He had just published a book called Blood, Debt, and Fears uh, during the um, infamous years of, of, um, of conflict. And uh, so I'm just delighted that uh, the little book he was celebrating back then, which was a paperback, has now had a successor, which is an enormous coffee table book that uh, was a real gem. I have spent several wonderful evenings reading it, and I recommend it to you. There are copies here for you to purchase if you'd like, and he's going to share the proceeds of that with the Labor Hall, so I encourage you to think Christmas. Uh, there are also t-shirts on sale over there at the, uh, at, the, at the ticket window along with cider and coffee, so this is a great uh, time for you to uh, support the hall if you can do that. But um, Jeff Dan Danziger is a, a person that we, whom we all know and cherish. He's a one-of-a-kind, and uh, although the book that he will be uh, signing this evening and the film you're about to see has none of the Teed family in it, we look forward to seeing them on Sundays. Maybe they'll be appearing in the next volume that he'll be bringing out. But uh, we have ahead of us a wonderful uh, film that has, in which he appears. He's the only American in the film you're about to see, and he's also going to be able to talk a little bit about uh, his work as a political cartoonist. Please welcome Jeff Danziger. I uh, was going to wear a tie and jacket tonight, so I would look. But instead, when she said that 2006, they gave me this uh, Barry Labor Hall t-shirt. And as you can see, it's held up. That's six years. That's, what, five or six years? And it's just fine. I've slept in it. <laughs> I've worked in it. I've painted and uh, gone running in it. So I would recommend that if you want a shirt that's really going to last a long time, <laughs> that's, that's the place to go. And it's union made. And it's union made. Oh, that must be the reason. Uh, the film that we have tonight, I want to thank everybody for coming out. This is a film about uh, political cartoons around the world. There are 12 political cartoonists from uh, Venezuela, and China, and Russia, and all, all sorts of places, made by a French producer. And the, uh, the, the theme of it, I, I wasn't quite sure, but I wanted to mention that one of the things that about political cartooning in other parts of the world where there is a language barrier is that political cartoons jump over the language barrier. So that even if, uh, in, in the United States, of course, we all speak English, all understand English, you look at the cartoon and then you read it and you can tell what it is. In parts of the world where that's not the case, even in parts of Europe, even in parts of, of South America, uh, where, where the languages are far more uh, uh, diverse than we think of it. We think of it, the cartoon can jump over that language barrier and can get the point across, and this will, <clears throat> will be uh, brought out uh, in the film. Most of the cartoonists in this film have uh, suffered political uh, repression. They've been, they've been either beaten up, some of them, or they've been threatened, some by the, the Danish cartoonist who's in here, who didn't, didn't really have a very large part of it, he's quite uh, old, uh, was uh, attacked in his, in his house. And the ones in the African countries, <clears throat> as you can imagine, are threatened by the different uh, uh, regimes that are there. Uh, a point is that my friend, Damien Blens, is a cartoonist, French cartoonist, in the country of Burkina Faso, I don't know if anybody knows where Burkina Faso is. It's the former Upper Volta. It doesn't help either, right? It's a western, West African, uh, it's north of Cote d'Ivoire, the Ivory Coast. Does that do it for you? And he lives in the capital, uh, which is, the capital of Burkina Faso is Ouagadougou. It is. <laughs> and Ouagadougou, as you'll, as you'll see in here, has very little paving and it's, it's a pretty wild little place. But he was telling me that in the country of Burkina Faso, which is a good sized good size chunk of land, <clears throat> there are 60 languages. Uh, about half of which aren't written. They're just uh, ver verbal languages. And so he said when his newspaper comes out, when it is 
distributed. And they want to make a, a comment about the, um, the strongman government that rules Burkina Faso. They, uh, the, the cartoon, it gets right to the point, and as a consequence, he's always in danger of being uh, beaten up by the various tribes, um, by the various government uh, people. He just, I haven't talked to him, but just last week, the president of Burkina Faso announced that after 27 years of rule, he wanted another five years. And there are now riots going on in the streets, and they're throwing rocks at the police, and the police are shooting back at them, and it's, it's pretty violent. I hope he is going to be uh, okay. Uh, this film was made by a French uh, <coughs> producer and a French director. I have never been in a movie before. Somehow they got my name. And of the 12 uh, cartoonists around the world, I represent the United States of America. <laughs> Uh, one thing to watch for, they came over and they were shooting in the, all these different countries. They came over a year before, then they came back to do the filming with a crew, I think, of about six people. And they stayed a week in, in, in New York shooting and uh, me doing various things. And uh, halfway through the week, I don't know why I did this, I, I wasn't thinking, I got a haircut. <laughs> so... It'll be something for you to watch and, and <laughs> that all of a sudden I, my appearance changes. And the, the day I came back and the director is a French lady and she said, oh my God. I, you know, and I said, do you like it? <laughs> she said, <laughs> um, the cartoonists in the, in the film are of French, Russian, uh, Chinese, uh, Burkina Faso, Cote d'Ivoire, uh, 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 um, Algerian, Egyptian, Venezuelan, Mexican, uh, and, a, and a few more. And when you, when you see how these people actually are devoted to this art form, it makes me kind of proud to be in it, although I never thought about it at the time. And it also makes you realize that uh, uh, in a, how much we uh, take for granted in the United States and how uh, we really ought to uh, appreciate what other people, not only, not, not that they suffer, but that they put up with just to get, get through the day. Um, so um, I could take one or two questions, but I want to get the film started as soon as possible. If anybody has any quick questions, in that case, uh, I want to say one last thing. I got this disc from the producer about two months ago. No one in North America or South America has had a copy. And no one has shown it publicly. So for what it's worth, this is the American <laughs> premiere. <laughs> Also saying it is dubbed. There is a they, they had a, a, a subtitled version, but we decided to show the dubbed version as well. I think it's much better. I hope I hope everybody can understand it. Uh, yes. uh, question. Um, where are you coming? Where, where do you live? Where are you coming from? Where, 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 where I'm coming from? I, I, I live and work in New York City because that's where I get work. But so you um, came here for this. No. I uh, have a house with my daughter. In Burlington, I realize that's not Vermont, but that's. <laughs> and, uh, we have a, but you know, I lived in Plainfield for what 30, 30 years, twenty years. In yeah, in Plainfield, and uh, I worked for the papers here. For, I'm their longest employee, it turns out. <laughs> I'm hoping for a raise. Well, I, I will say this: what changes the reach is the internet. And it's it's a, it's an, been an amazing change, not only sometimes for bad, sometimes for the worse, and sometimes for the good. But as far as getting cartoons around the world, and also seeing other people's work, it's, it can't be beat. <laughs>